Hello everyone, this is Professor Stewart, your professor for Speech 1318 Interpersonal Online for the Summer 1 session. Uh, this is just a short little video, it's going to last about 10-15 minutes, of me just going over the course syllabus with you. If you hear some bangs in the background, of, of course it's Sunday, June 4th. Uh, I don't know where in Houston you are, but it's storming like crazy where I live. So you might hear some thunder in the background and a flash flood warning go off on my cell phone. So uh, just to be aware, don't be alarmed by that. Uh, but I am going to go over this syllabus and hopefully answer some questions you might have. I will have a thread, a discussion board thread that will stay up the entire semester where you can post questions about the syllabus that I can answer for you. You can do that immediately or you can do that at any point throughout the semester and you'll see those discussion boards once you log in. Uh, this is my contact information. Remember, this course is online. The first thing I want you to look at is what's highlighted in green. This is a summer class, so we're compressing 16 weeks worth of information into five weeks. So this is a fast paced course. I really want you to be aware of what you've signed up for. This isn't something that you could uh, just log in once a week or twice a week that that probably would not result in the best grade for you. Uh, I just want you to be aware that this is an accelerated course, a fast paced course. So adjust your schedules accordingly. I am on the University Park campus. I don't know if uh, you are taking classes on another campus, but my office is at UP. Um, I'm not there during the summer. I may be there maybe once a week. So if you would like to discuss something with me, uh, something personal about uh, an issue going on in life or something about the assignment, if you need to visit with me, we can do either D2L chat, we can do Skype, or if necessary, we can set up an appointment where you can meet me on the University Park campus. Um, just be aware of that because I know some of you go to Sci Fair, Montgomery, Kingwood. Uh, just be aware that if we do meet, if you do want to meet face to face, you would have it would have to be on the University Park campus as that's where I'm housed. Um, your best bet's just to email me in D2L if you want to get in contact with me. There is my office phone number right here. I suggest that you do not call it. And the only reason I say don't call and leave me a voicemail is because if I'm rarely in my office, I can't call you back. Uh, so just make sure if you really need to get in contact with me, emailing is probably your best bet. I do have a Twitter handle. You might want to go ahead and sign up for Twitter if you don't have one. There might be a question or two related to the discussion boards that come straight from my Twitter account. So just something to be aware of. Not only that, uh, I do make course announcements, class announcements, Lone Star College announcements via Twitter. So if you do not have a Twitter handle, uh, I, I would suggest that you sign up for one. And if you do, you can just go follow me at Mr. Sean LSC. This is the required textbook. Uh, the textbook has two coffee cups from like Starbucks or somewhere on the front cover. That's the fourth edition of Interpersonal. You are more than welcome to get the third edition of the book. I sent that email out. Are they different? The answer's negligible. Um, there are some slight differences in there, but I will tell you this. Number one, the third edition is cheaper from what my students have told me. And two, I have had students both use the third and the fourth edition and make A's in my class. So the third edition will not prevent you from making an A in the course. Uh, there might be some stuff that's not in the third that's in the fourth. I will be going out of the fourth, but that stuff is so negligible that it would not prevent you from making A in the class. Keep in mind, this is an online class. Uh, I constantly ref let people know or let students know that an online class is not a work at your own pace class. There are due dates, which we will go over here in a bit. So just be aware about the deadlines of assignments and modules that will open and close on certain dates. It is imperative that you are uh, active on the discussion boards. Keep in mind, a lot of people think taking an online class means it's, it's uh, a replacement for for face to face so you don't have to participate and that, that is very, very false. Um, so there is online participation. If you do not participate in a course module for at least two straight modules. So what this means is if you miss two straight modules, I have the power to drop you from the class. I can do that through uh, electronic means, going to student services through University Park. 
And if there's something going on and there's a reason why you missed two straight modules, then you need to let me know. But this will all occur before the official drop date for the university, which is June 29th. Office hours and emails, if you have any questions, just send me an email in D2L. Do not use my Lone Star address unless it's an emergency. Uh, keep in mind you want to properly introduce yourself. Remember, my name is not Hay, and if you're sending an email to a professor, you should probably properly introduce yourself and have a greeting. I have these things called quick hits that are part of this course. They're just a little quick hit on a module. They'll be uploaded to YouTube, and I will give you the YouTube link. It is possible that test questions will come from the quick hit. For sure, I can 100% tell you final exam questions do come from, a few of them come from the quick hit, so you want to be aware. Uh, I will post the links and I will also have a content, or I'm sorry, uh, a folder marked quick hit under the content tab where all quick hits will be uploaded. So you'll always be able to go view those. Those will never go away. There are no makeup exams in this course. It is expected that you're utilizing your Lone Star College email address. All official correspondence will go through your D2L address. Do not email me from a Yahoo or a Gmail or a Hotmail because I cannot respond. Every single piece of correspondence you get from me will be to your and through D2L. These are just some frequently asked questions. You might wanna peruse these at your leisure and there will be a copy of the syllabus uploaded uh, under the content tab. It'll be a PDF file and that will be there throughout the entirety of the course. One of the main components of this class is the discussion boards. Uh, each There are 11 modules. Each module is worth 15 points. I'm, I'm sorry, 11 discussion boards. Each discussion board is worth 15 points. And how the discussion boards work is I will give you a set of questions to answer. You have to reply to those set of questions, no matter if it's three questions, four questions, or five questions. There'll be no more than five questions for sure. Your answers to all of the questions have to meet a minimum word count of 500 words. That doesn't mean 500 words for each question, that's just 500 words total for all of the questions answered. Not meeting the minimum word count will get you points deducted. There is something called a first post due date, the first post due date is on the course calendar and I will put it in the module as well. This is when your very first post to all of the discussion questions for that chapter that I've asked you must be posted. Now students have asked me why do I have a first post due date and this is to prevent you from posting your first discussion board post on the very last day of the module. When students do that you don't allow your classmates to complete their portion of the assignment because part of the discussion boards is replying to two of your classmates. So what happens if you don't have this first post due date is you get everybody in the class posting at the very last minute and it causes other students not to be able to complete their assignments because most, most students will post it at like 1140 or 1150 and if the whole class does that then nobody can reply to anybody. So that's why I have this first post due date. And it's actually, I've had it since the start of the fall semester, and it's worked wonderfully. Uh, students love it. They, they absolutely love it. And then I give you a couple of days to make responses to your classmates. But not posting your discussion board post questions by the first post due date will result in minus five automatically. You are required to reply to at least two of your classmates. Both replies need to meet the minimum word count of 150 words. So this means there must be some analysis and some depth within those uh, replies to your, uh, to your classmates. And keep in mind, I can view everything that you do in D2L, and it's not uncommon for me to jump into the discussion boards and ask you a question or ask follow-up questions for you or your classmates. So you wanna be aware of this. When you look at the uh, course syllabus, after this video is over, I really want you to go back and reread this a couple of times to make sure you understand. And if you have a question about the discussion boards, please just ask and I will be there to answer and to clarify any questions. In this class, we'll be writing three reflection essays. These are just very short essays, 500 to 750 words. If you're asking how long is that paper-wise, that's probably a page and a half. 
um, that these reflection essays shouldn't take you longer than 30 minutes to write. I mean, they are very, very short. They're not research based. They're going based upon what you've learned from that module and applying it to your life. However, you do have to have a cover page and a header and it needs to be an APU format. If you have questions about that, please let me know. There'll be a looking glass project, which is basically looking at your self concept and your self analysis and more information will come about that uh, within the next couple of days. You'll be doing a poem project in which you will be required to write a poem. And please don't think you have to be some sort of masterful, uh, very create, overly creative person to write a poem. Anybody can write a poem. Uh, so don't, don't, don't fret about this too much. And I'll get more into this as we get closer to this assignment. And this assignment is one of our, is our only pass fail assignment, meaning if you do all of the criteria asked, all the instructions asked, you automatically make 100. If you miss just one thing, you make a zero. Your major paper assignment in this class is over the movie Crash. This is over the movie Crash from 2004, not 2008. If you've seen it, uh, awesome. I said you can just peruse it a little bit to get re-familiar with it. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you rent it uh, soon so you can watch it and understand what it's about and how it applies to this class. More information about this will be coming soon. There are three exams in this class. There are no exam reviews. There's no final exam review. I do not do those. There are eight quizzes. So there's two quizzes per module. There's a syllabus quiz. There will be a quiz over this exact syllabus that I'm going over right now. If you do not take the syllabus quiz, you will automatically be dropped the very next day. So just something to be aware of. The syllabus quiz is not optional. Class introductions, you'll be doing class introductions and answering a few questions there. All work goes to the Turnitin Dropbox. There is no late work turned in. If it's not done by the due date, that's it. And there could be extra credit opportunities lurking throughout the semester. Essentially, this is how it breaks down. If you notice, I do the point system here in this class. I do the point system because most four-year universities do the point system. So you automatically, once you transfer out, you'll know what that is. And the second reason, probably the best reason I do the point system, you never have to ask what your grade is. All you got to do is just add up the points. Not only that, I will always have a running tally of your class average, of your personal average in the class, in D2L. So you will always be able to see what your grade is in my class. And then this is how the grading scale breaks down. This is your course calendar. Notice it says tentative. Uh, I can make changes at any point if I want. I will tell you this. If I make a change to the course calendar, it's for the benefit of you. I will never uh, move up a due date ever, ever, ever. If I change a due date, it's always to give you more time. This I'm, I'm doing this for you as the student. So you might want to look at this and put it in your calendar. Uh, take this calendar and apply it to some of you might be going on family vacations. You might have dentist appointments. I know most of you have jobs and you need to work. So I want you to look at this course calendar and I'll be honest, we're, we're going to stick to this pretty, pretty well. Um, there will maybe a slight change here or there, but we're sticking to the schedule for the most part. So you can take this schedule and go take it to your boss or to your family and, and work your personal life around the schedule because it's most likely not going to change. And then I want you to take a look at what University Park offers. And keep in mind, if you go to any of the other five campuses, they have the same thing there. One of the things that I take dear to my heart is academic integrity. That includes plagiarism, that includes collusion, that includes cheating. I, for some reason, the last spring semester, I've caught the most amount of students plagiarizing papers than I've ever had in the history of my teaching career. And all of them were online, uh, online students. So be aware, um, this, is, this is pretty easy to catch. So if you have a question about this, please let me know. Also, I want you to be aware of this, which is the, the drop uh, date. The drop date for Lone Star College is June 29th. So that's the last day to drop a course for the summer one session with a grade of W on your transcript. And I will tell you from personal experience and from experience in advising and teaching, um, if you're trying to transfer, a W looks better on your transcript than a C, D, or an F. Um, that's pretty much it for the most part. We do have at University Park, and like I said, on the other five campuses as well, 
tutoring, counseling services, writing centers, uh, and an awesome, awesome library. And the best part of the syllabus, which is the syllabus caveat, noting that I have the ability to change the syllabus at any point that I want. As I said before, I'll never do that without communicating with you first. Um, if you have any questions about the course syllabus, about any assignments, remember there will be a discussion board post it for you so you can post it there and I ask that you post it there instead of emailing me so that your other classmates can see the question because they might have the same question or a similar question. And finally to end this I want to go over a couple of online myths uh, that occur in the classroom, myths about online courses in case this is your very first time taking an online course or in case you've taken an online course before. First things first, as I said before, online courses are not work at your own pace. I don't know where that came from. Uh, there are due dates and assignments, just like in a face-to-face -face class. Now, there might be times where I will upload a module a couple of days earlier. If I see students have, are done and they want to get started on the next one, which is what happened in the mini master course that I just taught, I'll go ahead and upload the next one and you guys can get started. I have no issues doing that. Uh, there's more or less work in an online course. Some people say there's more work. I've heard students say, Mr. Sean, I think you give us more work. I've heard students say, I think he gives us less work. There's no more or no less work. You guys do the exact same assignments as my face-to-face -face class. The only difference is you don't have to come to class. So the discussion boards are like class participation in a face-to-face -face class. In my face-to-face -face class, they have a set amount of points that they get towards the end of the semester based on them participating. So it's the exact same assignments that they're doing in face-to-face -face classes. I've heard students say, I'm taking online so I don't have to communicate with anybody, and that's not true. Uh, discussion boards take the place of class interaction, class participation. So yes, you do still have to participate with uh, your classmates. And then finally, some people say online is easier, online is harder, and I, to them, I say this, no, online is just a different format. That's really all it is. Uh, it's not easier or harder, it's not more or less work, it's just delivered differently. It's delivered electronically instead of face-to-face. -face. So, as I said before, please take time to go read the syllabus at your leisure and read through it very carefully. There's some stuff in the syllabus that I did not go over uh, that you need to be aware of. The syllabus quiz will be posted uh, tomorrow, June 5th. Um, you might get this email, but I don't think the course will be active until early in the morning. So the syllabus quiz will be available then and the discussion board about the syllabus or the class itself will be available. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this class. I look forward to meeting every single one of you on the discussion boards.